Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort and today's Monday, so happy Monday everyone. I think we're gonna start off the week right and we're gonna be starting over here at Disneyland. We're gonna go inside and see what's new. I guess a lot of people are starting the week off right. <laughs> there's a lot of people lined up for Disneyland right now. On a day like this where there's long lines in front of the park, I would usually go to the monorail and then, you know, bypass the line. But I checked the wait times for that on the app and even that's a 15 minute wait. So I think we're just gonna wait in line and, and, and get inside the park like that. Well, after waiting about 10 minutes in line, finally got inside the park. Wasn't too bad. But anyways, I think we're gonna start our day off over here at Emporium. I can't entirely remember, but I think these got restocked. These are the first edition of the Mickey Mouse Main Attraction Collection, the Space Mountain Lounge Fly Bags. So just in case anybody's looking for them, looks like they're back. So here's something I've never seen before. Over here on this display near the ear wall, they have a new Tomorrowland hat. On the back it says Tomorrowland. This hat retails for uh, $29.99. So thanks to one of the cast members who work here, they gave me a heads up on some new merch here. Let me go show you guys. So over here in the Play in the Parks merchandise, it looks like there's a new fanny pack. That's awesome, the castle. Fanny pack is $29.99 and then there's also a new drawstring bag. Matches the fanny pack perfectly. It's like the same print and everything. <laughs> this one's $24.99. And then if you look at the inside, it's like a little pocket in there. You can probably fit like your phone in there. Oh, it's behind the price tag. Whoops. Uh, there. Probably fit your phone in there. Small things. Then you have the giant pocket right there. This is nice. All right, so not a whole lot going on inside the Emporium. Looks like the only thing they were newer is that uh, fanny pack and the drawstring bag. It is such a beautiful morning today, man. Look at that. So we're doing a quick walkthrough of the China Closet and there's some new mugs in here. So here's one new mug. It's Lady and the Tramp. This so one's $19.99, and on the inside it says, you had me at spaghetti. <laughs> and then we've also got this one, which I think I've shown you guys this one at the uh, the, the outlet store at the Citadel. This is think of the happiest things on both sides. It's a Peter Pan mug. This one's $14.99. And then here's another one I showed you guys at the outlet store. It's a Toy Story mug. Reach for the sky. <laughs> this one's $14.99. So I'm sure you guys have already seen this mug, but they have a travel mug. It looks just like it. Look at that. And it's got the princesses on it and glitter. It's a sparkle all the time. This one's $22.99. And then I think the last new mug is... This Winnie the Pooh one, which I like it. Look at the balloons. That's like the only color on there. This one's $19.99. And then, not on the inside, but this, this is really cool. It's probably a fair one of the day so far. So I was actually wrong. This is not the last new mug. There's actually three more new mugs. <laughs> Here's an Olaf mug. This is fun and friends and warm hugs. This one's $14.99, and then I showed you guys these at the outlet store, but they have those stacking Chippendale mugs. So here's Dale. This one's $14.99, and then here is Chip. I love these, they're cool. Man, that was a lot of new mugs, and surprisingly, my favorite one was the Winnie the Pooh one. <laughs> So it looks like they're making churro toffee over here in the window of the Candy Palace. <laughs> and then here's a look at the candy display, or the treat display. Looks like they have a lot of the same stuff. They do have the Main Street Electrical Parade, a Rice Krispie Treat. It's cool, it's 
They have the Cheshire Cat Cake Pop. The coconut patties. They have the cookies and cream fudge. That's a new item. Uh, according to the cast member, he told me that was released yesterday. Looks good. That cookies and cream fudge looks so good. I was I was this close. I was so tempted, but I walked away. <laughs> I know this is random, but looks like the ducks are still asleep here on Main Street. They're not ready for park opening. Over here at the Star Trader, looks like they transferred all that merchandise that was found at Launch Bay over here near the entrance. They have everything, all the shirts, Rebel Leader, uh, Spirit Jersey, Bucket Hat, and all of these things right here. They even brought over the leftover May the 4th merchandise, but sadly they only have kid sizes left. I think the biggest size they go up to is like a medium. And I'm not really sure if this is new or not, but I can tell you I've never seen it. It's a Chewbacca action figure. Sorry about the glare, it's really bad. <laughs> a lot of plastic, but... Pretty cool. Comes with this crossbow and then like another rifle. His bag. This one's $34.99. And it's cool because it even comes with like a little sticker that says exclusively at Disney. So just like the Emporium, not a whole lot new at the Star Trader. But don't worry, we're gonna keep looking. Hopefully the day gets a little bit better. Cause so far it's been a little bit slow for merch, except for the the new mugs found at the China Closet. Before we keep moving, doesn't the castle look beautiful with the clouds behind it? Man. Like I said, it's a beautiful morning today. So I ended up coming to Westward Ho Trading Co. to see if they had the Nurse's Day pin. I know a lot of people have been asking for those, but I ended up finding, well, not a cooler pin, but a, a pretty cool pin. Let me go show you guys. It's, I think it's actually released early. So you guys know how for the Mickey Mouse main attraction merchandise is always a pin? Well, there's a new one, and it's Mad Tea Party. Like, I haven't seen the plushes, the lounge fly bags, the ears, or anything, but... I was able to find the pin here at Westward Ho Trading Co. And like I said, I think this might be released a little bit early. I don't know. This one's $29.99. And they have a they have a pretty good amount. In case you was looking for it. So last time we came to Disneyland, we ended up going to Galaxy's Edge. And sadly, I noticed that, that they weren't allowing people to hold the lightsabers anymore and test them out. And then they were also like kind of only letting a certain amount of people inside of Doc Gondar. So I'm really curious to see if that's still the case or not, but we're gonna go find out. So I'm not seeing a long line out front, which is good. Man, this thing is awesome. It's like a statue of Darth Vader's melted helmet. That is cool. Look how big the box is. Look, here's my hand. That's the box. So it's a Darth Vader Pyre helmet. And then, I believe the price is on the back. Jeez, this box is huge. <laughs> this one's $350. So if I'm not mistaken, I think this is new too. Look, it's a Sarlacc. That's <laughs> pretty cool. At first I thought it was like a lantern or something because like it even has like a little handle. But I don't think it lights up, but when you open the top, the starlight begins to move. Like moving like its tentacles and stuff. Makes noise too. And that might be a little bit hard to see, but on the back there's a sticker and it gives some information on the creature, so. The name is Sarlacc, its diet is anything that stumbles upon it, type is Anthropod, and whole planet is Tatooine. In case you guys are interested in the Sarlacc, this one's $39.99. So it looks like everything's back to normal here at Doc Ondar's. They're no longer like limiting the amount of people in here. Well, I'm sure they are, but like it's like a higher capacity. And then also they're allowing people to hold the lightsabers again. So I'm going to try to hold that new uh, Asajj Ventress lightsaber. So sadly they don't have the Asajj Ventress like as a display, so you can't hold that one, but you can hold any other lightsaber they have on display. And then as far as which ones are in stock, they have Luke, Leia, they have Reforged Skywalker right here, Ahsoka Tano, Ben Solo, Rey, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, both Darth Maul lightsabers, Count Dooku at the end, and then they have the Darksaber and Cal Kessis. So I ended up asking the cast members what exactly the Sarlacc does, and it's not exactly like a, like a piggy bank, but you can feed it coins. And it comes out here to the bottom. That's awesome. 
And then before we leave Doc Honors, I wanted to show you guys that they have tons of the Jedi holocrons and still none of the Sith holocrons. So that was a successful trip to Doc Honors. Uh, I'm really glad to see that everything's back to normal again and that you can hold the lightsabers and that there's no massive line outside the store because that was just crazy. But the only thing that's kind of unfortunate is you still can't hold the Slash Ventures because um, according to the customer, it says that those are limited or whatever, so they're not going to have those out for people to hold. But you can hold every other lightsaber you want, though. But anyways, we just made our way to Droid Depot, and it's the new merchant here. They have a new mug. <laughs> Droid Builders, R-Series Astromech. And then here's a look at the other side. It says the exact same thing. And it's a good sized mug, too. It's pretty big. This one's $22.99, and it comes like a little stir. But you can't pull it out because there's a zip tie. But I like this one. They've also got this kids shirt which I've never seen. This astromech droids, sales, service, and trades. It's got the little random pockets over here. It's kind of cool. And here's a look at the back. This one retails for $29.99. We also have this adult droid builder t-shirt. Pockets, it's cool, but it's like weird. See, it's like random. <laughs> the back's kind of cool. Troy Depot. This shirt retails for $39.99. They also have a lot of new accessories for your droids. They have some new panels. $12.99. These all have like a metallic finish, which. I think it looks really cool. It makes it look like metal. So looks like all the panels are $12.99. And they have, I already showed that one. They have the silver one. They have like this copper looking one, or like rose gold. And then lastly, they have that popular like R2 blue <laughs> that's what I'm calling it R2 blue so it's like they have some new R series tote cables it comes in red black and like that off white color so this replaces like your battery door and it says pull out tote cable from the rear panel of droid and then it's got a, a ma magnetic connection and then you can pull this cargo around and then you can even store stuff inside of it which is pretty cool This one's $17.99. The last new accessory is a, a personality chip. Apparently there's two of them, but they, I guess the black one sold out. But they have this yellow one. This one's $14.99. Man, all those new accessories for the R-Series droids are really making me want to build an R-Series droid. I was kind of between the C-Series and the R-Series, and I think when I finally build a droid, I think I'm going to go for the R-Series. There's just so much like more accessories for it. Speaking of R series joys, look, R2 D2's out. I don't know how we forgot that. Hey R2. Oh, what? What? Oh right, yeah, you're not sending any of those scans to the first order, right? No no no. Okay, okay, no. good. Or am I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, that's basically everything that's new inside of Galaxy's Edge today. So we ended up leaving. But I think now we're going to head to Pooh Corner and see if there's anything new over there. So here's a look at the treat display over here in Pooh Corner. And for the most part, it looks like they have everything you can find everywhere else in the Disneyland Resort. Except for the honey apple. And then I feel like I did not see this at Candy Palace earlier, but it's a Minnie Mouse apple with pink sugar and a pink bow. And then it looks like they also have some leftover... Rose cake pops from Mother's Day. These are $5.99. And then the last like newer item is the Oreo fudge or cookies and cream fudge, which again, I'm gonna walk away from. <laughs> Just in case anybody's looking for them, they still have tons of the Winnie the Pooh ears here at Pooh Corner. They also have a new pet bed, look. Relax and recharge. And then it looks like pet toys. I don't know if it's for cat or dog, but pet toys. And then we've been having a lot of luck with the mugs today. But look, they have this mug too. This one's really cool. That's got a rainbow inside. 
This one's $14.99. And that was about it for Pooh Corner. So over here in the land of walls, there's been like no change. There's no like walls that have been added or taken down. But the only thing I've noticed is, is different is that now they have more of the projections out for Fantasmic. They have this one out. They have that one out. And then they have that one out. But anyways, we just made our way back to the hub on Main Street. Today was a beautiful day. As you can see, the weather is still nice and cloudy. It's been perfect. Can't complain. But anyways, thank you for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.